Hello dear students, in this session we will uh, try to derive an expression for distance travelled by a body in nth second. Okay. Before that as usual, I will give you a problem. Okay. Solve this problem, you can pause the video or you can solve this problem later. And the correct answer, okay, type it in the comment section. A ball is thrown vertically upwards, okay, ball is thrown vertically upwards with a speed of 20 meter per second. You have to find out maximum height attained by the ball, okay, take g is equal to 10 meter per second square. Use the kinematic equations, three kinematic equations are there. See which is the most suitable equation. One is v equal to u plus at, x is equal to ut plus half at square and v square equal to u square plus 2ax. Out of these three, try to find out, find out which is the suitable one. Okay, solve the problem. Answer in the comment section. Okay. Now, today, so we are going to derive an expression for distance travelled by the body in nth second. What is this? See, first I will give you an understanding. Okay. Say there is a, there is a body or there is a car or something. Okay. So which starts from rest. So the car starts from rest, initial velocity is 0, then it moves with a constant acceleration of 2 meter per second square, the car moves with a constant acceleration of 2 meter per second square. Okay, now we will calculate what is the distance travelled in 1 second, distance travelled in 1 second, I will be using the formula, I will be using the formula x is equal to ut plus half at square, correct now, x is equal to ut plus half at square u is equal to 0, so therefore this term is 0, okay, distance travelled in 1 second means this is 0, half into acceleration is 2 into 1 square, correct now, what happens 2, 2 gets cancelled, distance travelled is 1 meter, okay, what about distance travelled in 2, 2 seconds, distance travelled in 2 seconds is u is 0, correct now, so half into acceleration is 2, okay, 2 seconds, 2 square, 2 square is how much, 4, 2 2 gets cancelled. 4 meter. Okay. Distance travelled in. Distance travelled in. Okay. First second is 1 meter. Okay. This is 0 second. This is 1 second. Distance travelled in 2 seconds. Distance travelled in 2 seconds is 4 meter. Distance travelled in 2 seconds is 4 meter. Then what is the distance travelled in second second? Distance travelled in the second second is 3 meter. Okay. How to find this? Distance travelled in, okay, distance travelled in second second is equal to distance travelled in 2 seconds minus distance travelled in 1 second. What is distance travelled in 2 seconds? 4. What is distance travelled in 1 second? 1. So what happened? 3. Okay. But what we have to do? We have to do two calculations. Correct? Now we have to do two calculations. First, we have to find out what is the distance travelled in two seconds. Then we have to calculate what is the distance travelled in one second. Then we have to subtract. So instead, we will we are going to derive one formula, a single formula. If you substitute, you should get the direct answer. Okay. For that, what we have to do, we will see that. Okay. Now, so what we have done is we found just now that to, to calculate distance travelled, distance travelled in second second, distance travelled in second second, what we have to do is equal to distance travelled in two seconds minus distance travelled in one second. Yeah? Now, so or if I write this as distance travelled in nth second, okay, distance travelled in nth second is equal to distance travelled, distance travelled in, in n second, distance travelled in n second, okay, minus, minus distance travelled in n minus 1 second. distance travelled in n second minus distance travelled in n minus 1 second. See, distance travelled in second second is equal to distance travelled in 2 seconds minus distance travelled in 
2 minus 1 second, correct? Na? 1 means for 2 minus 1. So, distance travelled in nth second formula is equal to distance travelled in n seconds minus distance travelled in n minus 1 second. Hope you can understand. Okay. If we have to calculate distance travelled in 10th second, for example, we have to calculate distance travelled in 10 seconds minus distance travelled in 9 seconds. Then we will get distance travelled in 10th second after 9 till 10th. Correct now. So therefore, I will write it here. Okay, distance travelled in nth second is equal to distance travelled in n seconds minus distance travelled in n minus 1 seconds. What is distance travelled in n seconds? Distance travelled in n seconds is equal to ut plus half at square ut plus half a t square because distance travelled in n seconds. How to calculate? ut plus half at square t is equal to n. Correct now? Minus minus distance travelled in n minus one means u into u into t. Distance travelled in n minus second, I have to calculate. So t means n minus 1. ut plus half a t square. Half a t square. Some simplification. Okay, un plus un plus half a n square. Half a n square. Minus, minus u into n minus u correct na? plus half into a into n minus 1 whole square a square plus b square minus 2ab minus 2ab okay now I'll, we will have to do further simplification here so I will uh, <coughs> I will write this step, okay, once again in the next page. Un plus half a n square is n is equal to un plus half a n square minus un minus u minus un minus u plus Okay, plus half a n square okay. Fine. plus half no, plus half a a is there plus half a correct now plus half a because half a into one I mean, half a into two minus two n two two gets cancelled minus a n minus a n okay this is the simplification okay now little more simplification u n plus half a n square okay minus u n minus of minus plus u minus okay minus half a n square minus a by 2 half a means what a by 2 plus a n okay now what happens? Plus a n minus a n. Let's cancel. Half a n square minus half a n square gets cancelled. Okay, I'm left with S n is equal to u. Okay, plus a n plus a n minus a by two. Now what do I do? I will take a by two as common. U plus a by two I'll take common. Then I get a a two n minus one. Correct now. S is equal to u plus a by two into two n minus one. We'll cross check. If I multiply a by two with two n, two two gets cancelled. I get a n. A by two into minus one will be minus a by two. So this is the formula that we have to use to calculate distance travelled in n seconds. So now we got four four formulae. This is the fourth important formula that we have studied. First is equation of motion. V is equal to u plus at. The second one that we have to remember. X is equal to ut plus half at square. 
the third one is v square is equal to u square plus 2ax those who have solved the problem which i have given in the beginning this is the formula you have to use and this one distance traveled in nth second is equal to distance traveled in nth second is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 now let us uh, try to understand how to use this formula and when to use this formula okay we'll solve on we'll solve one problem say okay a car a car starts from rest a car starts from rest a car starts from rest and moves and moves with a constant acceleration and moves with a and moves with a constant acceleration right on the problem constant acceleration constant acceleration hope you are sitting with the book and the pen of 10 meter per second square 10 meter per second square meter per second square okay what is the distance traveled by the car what is the distance traveled by the car hope you are reading the problem that's the problem what is the distance traveled by the car distance traveled by the car by the car in fourth second in fourth second what is the distance traveled by the car in fourth second okay you have to observe this fourth it is not four seconds if they ask you distance traveled by the car in four seconds then you have to use x is equal to ut plus half it is square now what is the question what is the distance traveled by the car in fourth second then i should use the formula sn is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 okay a car starts from rest means what initial velocity is zero okay so yes n s4 is equal to nth second means which second fourth second u is zero plus a by two what is acceleration acceleration of 10 meter per second square acceleration is 10 meter per second square okay 10 meter per second square uh, what happens 10 by 2 10 by 2 into 2 n 2 into 4 minus 1 okay that is equal to 10 by 2 means 5 into 2 into 4 is 8 8 minus 1 is 7 8 minus 1 is 7 so 7 into 5 is 35 meter so this distance traveled by the car in fourth second is 35 meter okay hope you understood this problem now uh, we'll we'll do one more one more example okay one more okay in the previous problem okay in the previous problem in the previous problem what is the what is the ratio of what is the ratio of distance traveled what is the ratio of distance traveled in in fourth in fourth and third second what is the distance ratio of distance traveled in fourth and third second what is the ratio of distance traveled in fourth and third second okay previous problem previous problem means what is given u is equal to zero a is equal to 10 meter per second square okay the previous problem is u is equal to zero a is equal to 10 meter per second square so what is the question what is the what is the ratio of distance traveled in fourth and third second okay distance traveled in fourth second divided by distance traveled in third second right what is distance traveled in fourth second u is zero no now what is our formula sn is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1 u is zero correct now so s4 means therefore okay 0 plus a by 2 means n by 2 into fourth second 4 2 into 4 correct 2n 2, 2 into 4 minus 1 divided by distance traveled in third second 10 by 2 acceleration into 2 into 3 minus 1 so what is the ratio it is equal to 10 by 2 is 5 
this is 8, 8 minus 1, 7, okay. So this is 5 into 7 divided by, 10 by 2 is 5, okay, 10 by 2 is 5. 2 into 3 is 6, so 6 minus 1 is 5, this 5 and 5 gets cancelled. What is the ratio? Ratio is 7 by 5, this type of problems will come. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, one more sim simple example. Okay, one more simple example, let me see. Okay. One more simple example. Okay. A ball. Okay, a ball is thrown. A ball is thrown. Write the problem. A ball is thrown vertically upwards. Vertically upwards. With the speed. With the speed. 20 meter per second. With the speed 20 meter per second. What is the what is the distance traveled distance traveled by the ball by the ball in in second second first subdivision second 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 subdivision third second okay a ball is thrown vertically upwards with a speed 20 meter per second initial velocity is 20 meter per second okay so this is a example for free fall correct now the ball is going only under the influence of gravity so z is equal to 10 meter per second square correct now we have studied whether the ball is going up or down all acceleration is always taken to be negative now Sn is equal to distance traveled in third second, first subdivision, first subdivision, acceleration I am taking minus 10 meter per second square, first subdivision, Sn is equal to u plus a by 2 minus 10 by 2 into, into 2n minus 1, 2 into 2 minus 1, so what happened, this is equal to 20, minus 5, 2 into 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, how much, how much, 5 meter, distance traveled by the ball in second, second is 5 meter, okay, next, second subdivision, distance traveled by the ball in third, second, which formula I am using, I am using the formula Sn equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1, okay, so initial velocity is 20 u plus minus 10 by 2 acceleration is minus okay 2 into n 2 into 3 minus 1 what happened what happened this equal to 20 minus 5 into 2 into 3 6 6 minus 1 is 5 okay 5 minus 5 oh my god what is it minus distance traveled by the wall is minus 5 meter what does it mean what does it mean closely observe closely observe this problem i'll uh, you know i'll add one more page okay in this problem what is the time of maximum height see in the second second in the second second object has object has traveled plus 5 meter correct now in the second second it's a very beautiful example in the third second the object has traveled minus 5 meter means what the object has changed this changed its direction correct now means during second second object is going up during third second object is coming down means t maximum is two seconds at t is equal to two seconds the particle is at highest position we can calculate it see if i use v is equal to u plus at okay what is the time of maximum height i'll calculate time of maximum height means what at what time it is at, ma at maximum height okay when the ball is at maximum height final velocity is zero correct now Initial velocity is how much? 20. Acceleration is how much? Minus 10. Okay, what is T? 10 T is equal to 20. So, T is equal to 2 seconds. Correct now. When T is equal to 2 seconds, object is at highest position. That means, during second second, object is going up. That is why we got plus 5 meter. During third second, object was coming down. That is why we got minus 5 meter. 
hope you understood the derivation and hope you have understood how to use the formula sn is equal to u plus a by 2 into 2n minus 1. Thank you very much.